Hi everybody, my name is Noah Karspeck and with Iowa Fire Control and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the drip pan. Now to get us started out here, what I'd like to show you here is the grease trap drip pan. Now this particular drip pan is a method of grease containment. What happens with a lot of different restaurants is they find that after that effluent comes up through that canopy hood in the restaurant, through the ductwork, and then comes into the actual fan, it starts to drip out of the fan holes and different crevices and things like this, and that grease ends up all over the bottom of the ductwork, and it also ends up in a, usually in a pool around the ductwork down here on the roof. And the problem with that is that that grease after a day or two is going to be completely adhered to your roof. So if you have a black rubber roof, if you have a rock roof, if you have a white membrane roof, all those roof's warranties are going to be voided because that grease is all over your roof now. Uh, as well, you know, to go back to the hinge kits, your roof warranty could actually be void if your fan is being set on the roof as well. So that's why it's important to have a hinge kit. But what I want to talk to you about is the drip pan. So what happens is that grease, it's going to find its way down here to the bottom. It's going to drain down here to the bottom one way or the other. Most uplast exhaust fans have a little porthole right here. And that porthole is meant for grease to travel out of. Now, in a lot of systems, there's no grease whatsoever. If you're talking about a nursing home, um, some kind of assisted living facility, anything that's a low volume cooking won't actually have grease dripping down. So there's no use for a drip pan. But if you're talking about um, authentic Mexican, if you're talking about Chinese restaurants, um, any kind of cooking where you're talking about high volume, I, I can't really tell you the sales volume, but any kind of high volume cooking, you're going to have to deal with some kind of dripping grease. Now, today, most of the time when they install these fans, they're going to install a drip box on them. Uh, but that's, that doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes it's almost like a planned obsolescence. So if you have an older system, you definitely don't have a drip pan. And so what we want to make sure that you have, definitely all of our customers and anybody else out there that's having problems with grease on their roof, is a drip pan. That port right there needs to have a hose hooked up to it. That hose needs to connect to a drip pan. And what happens is that this drip pan right here will have a bag of spag, is what we call it. And spag is, is actually like a sawdust, peat moss mixture. And that spag grabs the grease, but allows the wall, water to filter through. So that way when we're cleaning, when it rains, um, whenever any water moves through that system, it's not going to wash that grease out with it. That grease is going to stay there. So that bag of spag needs to be replaced on a regular basis. So you can see that there's definitely a use for a drip pan. These are pretty economically priced. Um, again, if you're having a problem with grease, the best thing to do is to grease lock your system. So check out Grease Lock on our website, www.iowafirecontrol.com. And if you need to contact us with any questions, please do. Thank you. Until next time.